bring in uh, Francis Wang now because I know you've been covering the story mm -hmm. from the beginning. You spoke with them tonight. Yeah, and I also spoke with her when she first got home to Stockton from Vegas. That was over a month ago now. So tonight we talked about her coping process since she just went back to Las Vegas this weekend. And we also talked about how she reacted when she got news of yet another mass shooting. Sunday nights, I don't want to be up around 10 o'clock because start, I start getting anxiety and it's because that's around the shooting time and I just go to sleep. You know, like I went to dinner and some guy ran in and it, I guess he wanted to see the score of a game, but scared me. Other people would think I'm crazy, but you know, that was the fear we had the whole time. And I don't want to be like that. I don't, but my guard's always going to be up because of what I went through. You uh, recently went to Vegas with your husband mm -hmm. um, at the suggestion of your therapist. Uh, talk about kind of her mindset for you and why she recommended that. She wanted us to go back because she says that because we're having a hard time kind of getting closure and we're still kind of like in that shock stage that we left something there. Like, So when you went to Vegas, I know you mentioned you visited the memorial site yes. and met with a lot of survivors. But we went through Tropicana where we had to run a lot and it was just to see how normal everything was back, you know, it kind of, it felt like October just froze for us. And then we met a survivor that, a couple that actually ran the same way we did same steps and we even think we've talked to each other because at one point when I was hyperventilating somebody was passing out water from the sink and he was like I was passing out water. You were in Vegas or leaving Vegas mm -hmm. when you got the news of what happened in Texas. Yeah that was just our, we were driving and I said are you you know I saw something about prayer for Texas and I'm like what happened there and I looked and I was like you know and I was like what is going on why did you know why did this keep happening like I want to go over there and comfort them and help them, you know, people in church, you know, and they pray, they probably prayed for us. And then now they're going through it. It's just heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking indeed.